Hey guys, Rob Arino here from Red Baron RC with a quick tip on uh, print settings for the main jet body of the spray jet boat. This is a free download from the site at redbaronrc.com. So you're going to select the uh, jet main body and the jet main body support STL files and import them. This one is the um, custom print uh, support material. So come over to this pullout menu and you're going to say print as support and you see the checkered pattern on it. Now if you touch both of these objects and then right click here you can say merge models and it will group them together as they were originally designed. Now I'm simply going to rotate these so that they stand vertically flat on the outside base of the uh, the print jet nozzle. So here are some layer quality settings that that I use that you may find helpful. I uh, prefer for the jet body to use a 0.2 millimeter layer height. Um, I keep the initial layer height the same. Obviously this is for a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and that's why I keep that um, as it is. Um, let's see here. We've got Wall line count, very important. This thing is under a lot of stress, so I bump it up to six. Infill density, 100%. This thing gets a lot of stress. Definitely set it to there. And infill pattern, for this type of thing, I would choose concentric, because again, that kind of tends to wrap the fill around an object. We are going to go for uh, print temperature. I, I prefer to use PET G, and that's just the, the print range for what I was using at 240 degrees and I've set the printer speed at 50 travel um, I choose to use retraction online and I retract at layer changes um, cooling I it's not really critical I've done it without cooling in fact but uh, if you want to do it maybe set it down to 50 percent and let's see what else we've got in here. Uh, support. Definitely turn the supports off. And build plate adhesion. I go for typically brim on this and leave it kind of standard otherwise. And that's getting close to the major changes that I would make in this. So I'm going to hit slice and let it rip for a second. And when it does, it's going to come back. It's gonna come back. Come on, computer. All right, let's preview it. So, after it processes, we'll zoom in here a little bit, and this is what's gonna be sent to the printer. I'll scroll through the section marker on it so you can see the way the layers are gonna be printed. Just kinda generally look for any flaws or problems that you might run into. And other than that, there you can see the at the bottom the uh, uh, the support material looked a little bit different. So that's it. Save it out. Fire that thing up on the printer. Um, once you get a clean print of that, you're happy with it. You can uh, go on to building the full boat. I hope this helped. Uh, please like and subscribe if you liked the video, and we'll talk to you soon.